What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rams Brothers. I'm your host, Dean, and I'm joined, as always, by my brother and the other great host of this show, Nick. And Nick, the somber news came out this morning that Aaron Donald is abruptly retiring. Um, everything else in between seems like it's just background noise. Um, but first and most importantly, I want to ask how you're doing. Okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, with somebody like this, the influence that they had on the Rams, on the organization, on what he's done, I just want them to just say that there are already plans for a statue for 99. <laughs> there has to be. I, and I think the, the picture of him pointing to his ring could eventually be a statue in SoFi Stadium. And I think Seattle Rams actually tweeted out a, a picture of, of Aaron Donald pointing to his ring finger. And, you know, hopefully – in the spirit of his incredible 10-year career throughout St. Louis and Los Angeles, that they could eventually erect a statue um, in favor of Aaron Donald because it is feels like it's the missing piece out front of SoFi. Um, but the news broke this morning, and it was so strange because, you know, you look at Aaron Donald when he was drafted back in 2014, and you fast forward to today being a Super Bowl champion. The news broke this morning that you know, the they Rams freed up about $9.2 in cap space with the restructure of Aaron Donald's contract. They also redid Joe Nopum's deal, and they signed Cam Curl to a two-year, a $13 million deal. So you're thinking to yourself, Les Snead is putting this team in an incredible position again for 2024. And then a couple of hours later, Aaron Donald's account go ahead went ahead and tweeted this out. So I just want to go ahead and read this, and then we'll we'll kind of go back to the you know everything else that Aaron Donald has brought to the table. But I feel like this is just really important because it brings the yeah you know, everything that Aaron Donald represented about the organization to light. Like he says, there are far too many people in the organization to thank specifically, but I will never forget the relationships. I appreciate everybody on the field, off the field, and behind the scenes that made my job smooth. And then he also mentioned throughout my career. I have given everything to football, both mentally and physically. 365 days a year were dedicated to becoming the best football player I could possibly be. I respect this game like no other, and I'm blessed to be able to conclude my NFL career with the same franchise that drafted me. Not many people get drafted to a team, win a championship with that team, and retire with that team. I do not and will not ever take that for granted. So as he focuses on his next chapter – the greatness of Aaron Donald will live through us as Rams fans forever, both representing with the jerseys. Um, but, you know, it's it's just a moment in history that a, a time that you'll never forget, a career that you'll never forget. And and thanks that you can't pay enough towards for Aaron Donald. Yeah, I mean, truly, you there is there's a lot to be happy about. Not often is somebody drafted by one team and then it goes through a complete change and uphaul of the franchise and goes from St. Louis to LA and is able to shepherd in this entire new generation of Rams fans. And we're just so thankful. It's just, it felt like there was a little, you know, you still have Aaron Donald on your team. You still have Matthew Stafford, Cooper cup, Puka Nakua is rising. It's, we talk about these weight, these pillars of the Los Angeles Rams and there was still work to be done. It felt like we wanted multiple Super Bowls for, for Aaron and Stafford, and it, it, it's, it feels a little too soon. But, yeah, there's there's zero animosity, zero hate. It is 100% all love to Aaron and his family. Yeah. All yeah. you can do is thank him for that career because you look in comparison, like a Jason Kelsey is also an anomaly, somebody that was drafted by the Eagles and is going to go retire with the Eagles. And then, you know, him and Aaron Donald are both going to be making their Hall of Fame speeches in the year of 2029 at the same time. Player that was drafted, won a championship and retired with their team. These kind of players are anomalies in this day and age. And Aaron Donald was one of one. He was the greatest player I've ever seen with my two eyes. He's the greatest player I'll probably ever see with my own two eyes. And there's, you know, it's, it's almost devastation, but gratefulness that you got to see it, got to live through it and be a part of what Aaron Donald brought to the table because it was never ending. He was a Super Bowl champion back in 2021. He's a three-time defensive player of the year. But like Nick, to your point, the hope that was, you know, you're going to potentially get him another Super Bowl. The hope was you were also going to potentially get him another defensive player of the year, which would have put him in elite company. Like Reggie White and Lawrence Taylor, I believe, are the only other two players with three defensive player of the years. He would have been the only one. Uh, he was a defensive rookie of the year back in 2014. He's an eight-time first-team all-pro player. 10-time Pro Bowler, a Deacon Jones Award winner. Look, I mean, you you can go all the way down. You go all the way back to college. He is the best player I've ever seen in my lifetime. And 
the career highlights and awards just kind of stack up to him and make sense because of how great of a player he was on and off the field. Um, so it's, it's really, really tough to like, you think to yourself, okay, well, what's next? Like, let's just focus on Aaron Donald and pay tribute to the person who deserves a statue out front of the stadium that is worth $5 billion. Yeah. I don't really know what's next. Like for the Rams, it's, it feels like now there is another gigantic hole that we need to fill that everybody kind of just checked off the list of like, well, we have Aaron Donald. So the interior defense is we're fine. And now that's just, that's just not the case. So I, I mean, also what's the deal with the cap now? Like we just restructured his deal is, is all that money gone against the cap? Do we pay him out? Like I'm not. Yeah. You know, yeah, so spot track. So spot track isn't as plugged into the NFL as over the cap is. So over the cap had all the restructure news, but spot track came out and said, we're still trying to confirm a few things, but it appears as though the Rams are handing Aaron Donald a $13.8 million bonus on his way out. So they processed a full salary conversion this morning, and then are likely going to carry that contract into June before taking on the dead salary cap hits of 17 million in 2024, and then 25.2 million in 2025. So I believe the restructure still stands. The dead cap hits are going to be a little bit egregious over the next couple of years. But I mean, in terms of this, like it's, you just can't replace him. Like I, I yeah. wanted his salary. I wanted his salary cap hit. He wasn't a player that I wanted to touch his money. I would have never asked him to take less money. And that's not what a restructure is, but I don't, and I can't even say that the, the amount of times that they went back to him on his contract is a reason for him retiring. I think it's just, you know, a player that feels like he gave literally everything he had to the organization over a 10 year period of time. So, yeah, I fully committed from St. Louis to Los Angeles. I, I, I don't think we have any Rams now. It's, that it's Rob, ha Rob Havenstein. I knew you were going to say that. You were like, well, I, was was like that. I, was I knew you were going to. Well, I mean, you think about the players like Johnny Hecker and Todd Gurley and, and Jared Goff and some of those like drafted by St. Louis born from St. Louis and then eventually moved on to Los Angeles. And Rob Havenstein's the only one left, unfortunately. But when I, when I think back to Aaron Donald, this is what I envision. I, I remember triple teams. Like I remember teams just spending all of their time, whether it was game planning, whether it was offensive line assets, whether it was running backs in the backfield, just being able to do anything they possibly could to protect their quarterback from Aaron Donald. This is his history as a player. He's getting held back by two, three players at all times, getting double, triple teamed. The attention always needed to be on the greatest player in the world. And you saw like within the division, specifically a Kyler Murray or Russell Wilson, those guys were just tortured by Aaron Donald. Jimmy Garoppolo dragged down in the NFC Championship and Joe Burrow, the same thing happening two weeks later in the Super Bowl. It's, it's unbelievable what he was able to do. And I'm not sure we'll ever see a player that drew this much attention singularly as an interior defense alignment. You might see it from an edge rusher, but you'll never see it again from an interior defense alignment like Aaron Donald. It, <laughs> you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm devastated. I'm sad. I'm almost completely distraught. Like this is, this is the heart and soul of the organization. Um, and the fact that I don't get to see people tweet out that Aaron Donald is being triple quadruple teamed in week three of the NFL season is just, it's super upsetting as a Rams fan. I mean, I'm sure before this episode, while I was, you know, fiddling away on my computer, I was just, the news hit, you actually broke the news to me via text. So I had to go make sure it was real. And I just started watching highlights. And I was just thinking of like favorite memories of Aaron Donald. And it's it, like, I, I didn't want to have to get to that point, but I mean, that's, that, that's where we are. That, that's where we are. You're at, with, with you're at that point. You're at the point where we're all kind of paying tribute. And, you know, this is just a tribute, but you got to believe it. You know, I wish you were there. It's the greatest song in the world. It's Aaron Donald. Uh, Cooper Cup said, thankful to be able to play, uh, to be able to watch, learn from, 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 and play alongside of one of the best to ever do it. Appreciate you, Aaron Donald. Feel sorry for whoever has to line up across from you in whatever it is that you do next. Um, and then Andrew Whitworth also came out and said, the goat, love you, brother. Thank you for being you. And it's it's the love you, brother, to me, that that hits the heartstrings. 
It's a guy like Big Wit that came into this organization in 2017, and they did everything they needed to do to support him with core pillars like Aaron Donald, with eventually a guy like Matthew Stafford. Um, and this is this is kind of what pulls at your heartstrings. It's it's a guy like Big Wit who just recently retired, who was the Walter Payton player or man of the year. Um, and Aaron Donald kind of followed in those same footsteps, like just being the greatest that ever was. And Aaron Donald's note to the rest of the world, cheers to what's next, extending a big thank you for the Rams and all of the fans for your support over the last 10 years. Much love. Quarterbacks all around the world are rejoicing over the fact that Aaron Donald is no longer going to be playing football. But I think Les Snead said it best amongst everybody, and he's usually pretty concise and to the point when it comes to this stuff. He said, Les Snead kept his comments simple and to the point via Jordan. There will never be another Aaron Donald. That's how I feel. Yeah. You couldn't be more spot on. I, I just The first memory that came to my mind when thinking of Donald was, it, I mean, it was the Super Bowl year, 2021. We go into the week where we're two back from the Cardinals who, like, own the division. And we're playing Jacksonville after winless November where it's like we really need to turn things around. And it's just that game, just a defensive takeover – rips the ball out of the running back's hands. And then from there, it's just an onslaught of, of great football. And then the following week to take the division from the Cardinals, Aaron Donald has three sacks and has a game ending sack on Kyler Murray and does like the flex and then waves goodbye to everybody in Arizona. Yeah. And then yeah. that leading to obviously, you know, stopping Joe Burrow on the final play. But and like, stopping you know, Tom Brady in the divisional round and stopping the 49ers in the NFC Championship. Like he ended every single one of those games. Mm. He did. And that, that I forgot was about the NFC Championship. Aaron Donald got there. Yeah. I thought you were going to say that your first memory of Aaron Donald was this picture <laughs> being kissed by a dolphin. But I mean, like this, these are the incredible memories that he brought to the table. Like when you saw him on Sports Illustrated in 2014, I guess that was the whatever 2016 issue. So Aaron Donald was in his second year. The new game changers are here. He was the face of the not only the organization, but he was the face of defenses across the NFL. And the Rams started kind of taking storm in terms of the news when they decided that they were going to move from St. Louis to Los Angeles. And Stan Kroenke was, you know, buying real estate to be able to build a brand new stadium and host all these events and players and everything in between. Um, Aaron Donald was the face of what they wanted to bring from St. Louis over to Los Angeles. And he was the representation of the Super Bowl when the headline came out and said that, you know, the endless Super Bowl party never ends. Um, it's Aaron Donald popping a bottle of champagne with his shirt off. It's just, it's the greatest scene in Ram recent Rams history is Aaron Donald on that parade float, popping champagne and celebrating the fact that he's the greatest defensive player to ever live. Um, the only gripe I have, and Cooper Cup had the most incredible season I've ever seen from a receiver in 2021, but Aaron Donald, the way that he ended the NFC Championship in the Super Bowl, definitely an argument that he could have been the Super Bowl MVP of that that game. So, I, Yeah, that was my only takeaway. Was That was my only complaint from that game is I felt like Aaron Donald did everything to to win that award, especially the I just that game. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted them another opportunity to get him a Super Bowl MVP. Um, I really did, but what you're looking at right now, he's eligible for the class of 2029. Texting with some uh, Philadelphia Eagles fan, fans this morning and friends, and you know that's you got to make the trip. You go over to Ohio, go over to Canton, um, watch Jason Kelsey give his speech, watch Aaron Donald give his speech, and celebrate um, and two of the greatest players I've ever watched in my entire life. Aaron Donald being the very best I've ever watched in my entire life. Yeah, I I, I mean I said it already, but the opportunity that we had as fans from the get-go of his career till the very end, he is in horns the entire time. And that's really special. It, it doesn't happen like that often. And yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you, Aaron, in 2029 in, in Ohio. We'll see you when they erect the statue. We'll see you hopefully at a tailgate. We'll hopefully see you in Canton. Uh, if you ever want to come back for a Super Bowl run, hopefully the Rams are in a good position towards the end of the season. Um, but I mean, all we could do is pay tribute to the best player we've ever watched um, and just be extraordinarily grateful that he was a Ram this entire time. You never saw him go to the Steelers. You never saw him have, have to go to a different team and wear a different uniform. 
he worked every single day to bring a championship to this city, to Los Angeles. And I mean, I, I'll never, I feel like I, it's just a void because you just feel like you'll never see it again. You'll never yeah, see anything yeah. like that again in your life. Correct. We'll never ever see somebody as great as, as as Aaron Donald did. And if we do, the chances that he's on the Rams will be like, you know, one of a thousand. Yeah. So I, you know, you have to just appreciate it. And I think uh, I think we have. I mean, we, we we started a podcast five years ago. We have been appreciating it. And we are just – we're lucky as fans. He, he, lucky that our team drafted it. Freaking lucky, lucky um, we got to see a Super Bowl, but like alongside of the Super Bowl, you get to watch these incredible players grow up in your organization. And Aaron Donald is is one of those players, Cooper Cup. They are just like that's the reason why you're such a fan. They represent the organization so well, great family lives, and great inspiration every single day. Um, so I will greatly miss Aaron Donald, and I'm sure we'll be talking about him more so as the offseason continues and how we're gonna attempt to replace him, although you can't. Um, but if you guys are enjoying the content, if you guys want to hear more Ram stuff, draft, off-season news, everything in between, make sure that you Ram it. like and subscribe. We him appreciate posting, you. Him posting that dancing video, the last thing I would have thought was retirement. Same. I was like, oh, the Rams are making like a move. I would I, never would I have thought that that he that was his sign off the dancing video the restructure and then cam curl signing to me i was like this is i mean there's no reason why he would ever retire um i thought we had two years honestly i thought we had like legitimately like next year and the following year because i felt like that's what we had with stafford i mean maybe two more with him but like on top of that but still it's tough yeah, my friend's like, are you going to blow it up now? And I was like, no, we're not going to blow it up, idiot. <laughs> you just got to laugh. Other people don't – they don't understand what Aaron Donald was. If you didn't watch it for 10 years, you don't really understand what you had. Um, and people realize – people continue to see the highlights. People see him get inducted into the Hall of Fame, and they'll remember the greatest player on defense that they've ever watched, maybe the greatest player of all time. So Yeah. Shout out to everybody that texted me today and said, are you okay? The answer is no, no, neither of us are okay. We love you guys. Go Rams. Peace.